Hey y'all, it's Whitney. I'm a chronic illness advocate, coach, um, blogger, speaker, doctoral student, and full-time higher education professional. And I wanted to come on today to talk to you about a post that I did maybe like last week. It was four steps to combat overwhelm. And I wanted to come on to do a deeper explanation of that post. And these are tips that have been helpful for me to not be overwhelmed when I'm doing it all. Because as you heard from my introduction, I do the most, but it's despite everything that I've been through, despite it all. And it would not be possible if I let myself get overwhelmed with all the things that I have going on and I didn't understand how to combat it. So I came up with four um, ways that I can, just like steps, four steps in order to combat that overwhelm and make sure that I have control of all the things that are going on in my life. The first step is prep. Hey Jam, so when you're prepping, you're making sure, <laughs> Jam is always here to troll, but when you're prepping, you're making sure that you have everything planned out for what you have to do. Because if you don't know what you have to do, you're going to be overwhelmed because things are going to be just thrown at you from every direction. So when you prep, and that may be taking time on Sunday to write out all the things that you have upcoming for the week that are due, that need work, or it could be day to day, or it could be a combination of both. Oh, thank you. <laughs> or it could be a combination of both, making sure that you have everything lined up is the first step. So the next step after you have everything lined up and prepped for your week or for your day, you need to prioritize because if everything is an urgent priority, nothing gets done because if everything is a priority, nothing is a priority. Um, so you need to make sure that you know the tasks that must be completed in that week so that you can get things done. So if you're just joining, I'm talking about the four steps in order to combat overwhelm because as you all know i'm doing a whole lot of things and i need to make sure that i stay in control of everything that i have going on so that nothing collapses and the first step was prep that means planning out everything that you have to do so you know what your week day month looks like the next step is to prioritize because if everything is a priority nothing is a priority the next step is to pass along so after you've prioritized tasks you know tasks that are lower on your radar to do that can probably be passed along to somebody else on your team. Um, if you're an entrepreneur, if you have a VA, um, if you work a nine to five, if you have somebody that works under you that or that's a teammate that you can pass the task off to, that you still know that it gets done. You have to be able to let some things go um, because done is better than sitting on your to-do list collecting dust. And so even though somebody else may not do it the same way that you do it, it's better to just get it done. And then the last step is to pamper. Because once you get all those things done, you should celebrate the success. Because a lot of times we end up with things just staying on our to-do list and not getting things done. And we don't properly celebrate taking the small steps to get things done. And taking those small steps is what will let you continue to go back through these steps and make sure you stay on task because you're able to understand that small progress is big progress because it gets you to your end goal. And so to wrap up, the four steps to combat overwhelm are the four P's. They are prep, prioritize, pass along, and pamper. Um, let me know if you have any questions about those. Um, I'm going to post this to my page. So if you do have questions after you think about it, please be sure to leave them in the comments. And also I wanted to let you know if you do have a chronic illness and you run a business or you just kind of need help prioritizing the things in your life, I'm going to be offering a mastermind in 2021 that helps you combat this overwhelm and gives you tips, tools, and strategies to be able to live your best chronically ill life so that you're not always conforming to the norms of other society and that you're actually planning your life around what you're actually able to do. So let me know if you have any questions and I can't wait to see you on my profile. Bye.